set up your seat for meditation. Let's get grounded for a hot second. Let your eyes gently close. Root your sits bones into whatever you're sitting on. Sit tall, press the crown of your head towards the sky. The intention right now is for you to be comfortable in the seated position and also fully alive and aware. Use your body as a measure for your experience. Feel what you feel, hear what you hear, sense what you sense. Presence yourself here. Feel the floor beneath your body and notice yourself sitting with calm determination and clear intention of experiencing this moment. Notice the ebb and flow of your breath, the ebb and flow of traffic. Sit in your true north alignment, your body seated and aligned to your truest north, both powerful and free. Notice your foundation, your feet, your shins on the floor. Notice your periphery, the skin and the contact of your clothing or the air on your skin. Bring your awareness from your skin into your spine, the physical center line of your body. From the tailbone of your lower spine, walk your awareness up through the spine, through your mid back, your upper thoracic spine, up to and through the crown of your head. The mind is trained to be in thinking, so this requires a rigorous intention to being here and experiencing your experience. This seated meditation is an opportunity to access something in a new way by dropping into your body and noticing what is happening. Bring focus to your breath. Notice your breathing and notice the breath of those around you. Bring your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs, your pinky fingers. Sit tall. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth. Exhale it out. Again, breathe in. One more time. Flutter your eyes open and make your way to downward facing dog. Spread your fingers wide, your feet hips width distance or wider. Root down through your first finger and thumb knuckles. Bring your hands just a little bit wider, give your shoulders a little more space. Bend your knees generously. Press your tailbone up towards the sky. Really exaggerate it like a tiger crouch right here. Bent knees, tailbone pressing up. Now press down through your heels as you send your inner thighs towards the back of the room. Take a big breath in. Ujjayi, let it go. Squeeze your forearms into center line, in towards your spine line. Let your head be heavy, gaze between your toes. One more full breath right here. As you exhale it out, walk your feet to your hands, take ragdoll pose. The outer edges of your feet, bring them parallel to the outer edges of your mat, but feet hips width distance apart. 
clasp opposite elbows with opposite hands. Bend your knees, bring your chest down to your thighs. Now press down through your heels, elongate your hamstrings, send your hips up towards the sky, towards the fireplace. Can you shift your weight into your toes? Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Release your elbows, catch your hips with your hands. Squeeze elbows in towards spine line. Create a long cervical <coughs> spine to your tailbone. Root down through your heels, rise up to stand. Bring your hands to heart center. Set your drishti. We'll begin with three ohms. Oh. up, look up, exhale, fold, let it go. Create a long spine, fingertips next to your toes. Forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, pull the mat towards the back, pull, your, pull back on the mat to create a long spine, fingertips next to your toes, halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, empty out. One more time, halfway lift, breathe in. Plant your hands right where they are and step, step back to a high plank and pause. Pull the belly button in and up, soft bend to your elbows. Lift your right heel one inch. Bring your right knee to your right tricep. Step back to high plank. Lift your left foot one inch. Left knee to left tricep. Step it back to high plank. Pull forward over your toes, lower halfway down, low plank. Upward facing dog, untuck your toes, breathe in, shoulder blades pull together. Downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, push the top of the mat away from you. Big breath in, bend your knees low, tiger crouch, look to your thumbs, jump top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain, root down, rise up, reach up, breathe. Forward fold, empty out. Halfway lift, long spine, breathe in, plant your hands, step back to high plank. Pull forward, lower down, low plank. Untuck your toes, press them into the earth, breathe in. Downward facing dog, send your hips to the sky. Three breaths. Here on your mat, this evening, give yourself the gift of generosity. Give yourself the gift of play. Right here, take a big breath in. Bend your knees low, tiger crouch, jump top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain, root down, reach up, get long through your side body, bright fingers, breathe in, forward fold, empty out. Halfway lift, long spine, breathe. Vinyasa, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, press the tops of your toes into the earth, breathe in. Downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Big breath here. Press the top of the mat away from you. Again, breathe in, let it go. Fill up your back body with fresh life. Bend your knees, look to your thumbs, jump top of your mat. 
halfway lift inhale forward fold exhale root down rise up breathe in last sun a get big forward fold empty out halfway lift breathe in move through your vinyasa high plank to low plank upward facing dog pull your heart through downward facing dog send your hips high take a breath here let it go lift your right leg strong straight toes point straight down towards the earth yeah drop your right hip press out through your heel now bend your knee stack your hips work to square your shoulders your right shoulder is going to want to come along for the ride now come up onto your tippy toes flip your dog both feet plant them on the earth reach your fingers peel open send your heart to the sky look where your fingers are reaching look side plank right hand center of your mat roll over root down lift your top hip extend your left fingers towards the sky look up see them radiate downward facing dog let it go big breath in big breath out let's get even left foot lift it strong and straight toes point straight down yeah press out through your heel bend your knee stack your hips flip your dog root down lift heart lift hips reach fingers breathe right here side plank left hand center of your mat roll over as you press down into the earth rebound press down to lift up lift your hips press into my fingers reach your top hand towards the sky take a big breath let it go take another big breath in reach further yes downward facing dog empty out <sighs> breathe in breathe out breathe in bend your knees look to your thumbs fire it up jump top of your mat halfway lift forward fold toes come to touch first chair pose squeeze in and sit deep look down can you see your toes if not press your hip creases towards the back of your mat spread your collarbones take a breath here sit two inches deeper exhale you've got this take another breath in forward fold empty out halfway lift breath in plant your hands move through your vinyasa flow like water pull forward in your up dog breathe in downward facing dog hips high take a breath in step your right foot forward to warrior one huge step forward take up space back heel plants bring your back foot closer to the outer edge of your mat give your hips space yeah, work to stack your front knee your right knee stack it up and over your ankle bend deep into your front thigh let your quad know you like it make it strong pull your belly button and your bottom ribs in reach your fingers high towards the sky breathe take another breath in one more look up lift your heart towards the sky now vinyasa hands to the mat high plank to low plank upward facing dog breathe in downward facing dog hips high left foot steps forward big step forward warrior one again give yourself space create your foundation press your left knee towards your left pinky toe and sit deep into your front thigh belly button in bottom ribs and fingers reaching towards the sky breathe take another breath in look up between your hands send your heart towards the heavens then vinyasa hands to the mat high plank to low plank upward facing dog breath in downward facing dog let it go bend your knees look to your thumbs top of your mat jump halfway lift forward fold chair pose one breath get right into it sit deep as you inhale exhale forward fold breath in half lift 
Vinyasa, high to low. Do the work. Make it play. It's the story that you tell that turns it from work to play. Warrior one, right side. Big step. Root down, rise up, breathe, breathe, breathe. Hands back to the mat, high to low. Upward facing dog, take a big breath in, in, in. Downward facing dog, left side warrior one, big step, root down, rise up, reach. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Hands back to the mat, high plank to low plank. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Now one movement, one breath. Move at your own pace. Take a big breath in here to synchronize. Breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees, look to your thumbs, jump top of your mat. Half lift, forward fold, chair pose, sit down, inhale, reach up. As you exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, take a breath in. Vinyasa, high to low. Exhale it all the way down. Inhale, up dog, down dog. Right foot as you breathe in, warrior one. Step, root, breath in, breath in, breath in. Hands to the mat, breath out, breath out, breath out. Upward facing dog, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in in downward facing dog step forward warrior one left side root down rise up reach up and breathe in breathe in flow like water high to low upward facing dog downward facing dog breath in breath out Lift your right leg strong and straight, toes point down. Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge. Yeah, maybe you make your left foot a little wider at the back of your mat to stack your heel high up and over your toes. Squeeze your inner thighs in. Reach your fingers towards the sky. Now pull your shoulders down away from your ears. Pull your bottom ribs in, your belly button in. Open twist, right fingers to the back of the room, left fingers to the front of the room. Squeeze in, press your left hamstring up towards the sky, root down through your front heel. Yeah, take a big breath in, let it go. Come back to center, crescent lunge, reach your hands towards the sky. Mm -hmm. Now open up to warrior two. Stack your front knee right over your front ankle. First open hip pose of tonight. Yeah, stack shoulders over hips. Breathe. Flip your front palm, reach up, reverse. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Extended side angle, right side. Forearm to thigh or bring your fingertips down to the earth, yogi's choice. Down to the earth or a brick, send your Right lung under, your left lung towards the sky. Stack your front knee up and over your front ankle. Take a big breath. Right here, breathe. Take another big breath in, reach your hand towards the sky. Exhale, hands to the mat, good work. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Step your left foot forward, crescent lunge. Huge step forward, huge step forward. Stack your right heel high and up over your tippy toes. Press your right hamstring towards the sky, press into my fingers. Yeah, press, press, press your left knee towards your left pinky toe, pull your bottom ribs in. Now open twist, right fingers to the front of the room, left fingers reach to the back of your mat, pull into center line, pull into spine line. Take another breath in, let it go. 
come back to center, reach your hands towards the sky, take a breath, open up to warrior two. Stack front knee over front ankle, front heel in line with the arch of your back foot. So look down as your front heel in line with the arch of your back foot, take a long stance, you're tall. Stack front knee over front ankle, bend deep into your front thigh, gaze out of your front middle finger. Now pull your shoulders back towards the back of your mat to stack them just a little bit. Yeah. Take a breath here. Flip your palm. Reach up. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Extended side angle, left side. Fingertips to the earth. Forearm to your thigh. Yogi's choice. Keep stacking front knee over front ankle. Left lung under. Right lung reaches. Stack shoulders. Keep pressing your left knee towards your left pinky toe. Keep breathing, full breath right here. Breathe in, breathe out. One more big breath right here. Hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, take a big, beautiful breath in. Downward facing dog, send your hips to the sky, let it go. Full breath in. Exhale, bend your knees. Step, step, hop, float, top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Sit deep. Squeeze. Hands to heart center. Twist towards the chakra wall. Elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Squeeze into center line. Hips low. Twist your left lung under. Yeah, right shoulder head pulls back. Breathe. One more breath. Forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, let it go. Inhale, chair pose, sit deep. Hands to heart center, prayer twist to the left. Right elbow, left knee, hips sit low. Pull your left shoulder head back to stack your shoulders, spinning your heart to your hands. Take another breath, stay for the exhale, fill up again, forward fold, empty out. Yeah, toe heel your feet, hips with distance apart. Take your big toes with your peace fingers. Bring your elbows out to the sides. Like pull your chest down to your thighs. Let your head be heavy. And as your head is heavy, press your sits bones towards the fireplace. So press into my fingers. Yeah, let your head be heavier. Yeah. Take a big breath. Give a big breath. Release your big toes, take palms to toes, forward fold, hands all the way underneath your feet, gorilla pose. Send your weight into your toes. Experience the uncertainty of I might fall over. Play with that. Take three steps backwards in your gorilla. Mm -hmm. It's been a while, right? It's been a while been a while. Uh-huh. Walk your gorilla forward three steps to your back where you started. Release your gorilla. Crow pose. Crow pose. I've been working with the kickstand and crow a really long time. <laughs> Spreading my fingers wide, bringing my knees to the backs of my triceps. Press the earth away. So it's not just a shifting of the weight forward. You're pressing the earth away and see if you can use the kickstand without using the kickstand. Even if it's just for a hot second, the kickstand will be there. You can start on it, but work to press away from the kickstand. I have a fear of falling. That's why I use the kickstand. I did fall and broke my nose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's okay. Pull your belly button into your spine. Squeeze both feet into the center of your mat and press down through your hands, first finger and thumb knuckle, like downward facing dog. 
Press your sits bones up. Elbows press out into knees, knees press into triceps. Move through a vinyasa, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, slide your shoulder blades down your back, soften your elbows, downward facing dog, hips high. Full breath in, full breath out. Tippy toe step to the top of your mat, the tiniest little steps working to maybe get your hips stacked up and over your shoulders. Maybe you press into your fingers to lift your palms to make it to the top of your mat. Yeah, take a breath in right here. Let it go. Catch your hips with your hands, root down to rise up. Root down through the sole of your left foot. Set your drishti. Come into eagle pose with your right thigh up and over left arm up and or right arm up and under squeeze squeeze into center line pull shoulder blades together on your back lift elbows up to where your shoulders are pull shoulder blades back belly button in bottom ribs in pull into center five four three two one, switch sides. And be intentional about creating the physical foundation of this pose. Be intentional with your gaze, intentional with your movement. All the same work, brand new side. Pull into center. Squeeze. Five, four, three, Two, one, release. Take the strap, set it for dancer pose. Dancer pose with a strap around your right foot. Root down through the sole of your left foot. Dancer pose. Root down through the sole of your left foot. Bring a big bend to your right knee. Big bend to your right knee. Bring the strap back behind your head with a fist going towards the sky. Yeah, flex your back foot, wake up your back foot. Drop your right hip two inches. Pull your belly button and your bottom ribs in and stomp down through your standing foot and press your fist towards Ganesh. Press, 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 press with control. Switch sides. Right foot roots into the earth. Left leg, bend your left knee. Take the strap in both hands behind your head. Stamp your standing foot into the earth. Stretch your toes out on the mat. Kick your left foot towards the sky. Kick, kick, pull your bottom ribs in. Stomp down through your standing foot. Press your fist towards Ganesh. Pull in and press out. Pull in and press out. One more breath, pull, press. Come back to standing. Drop the strap, let it go. Take a breath in, let it go. And set up for tree pose. Left foot roots into the earth, right foot, ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Equal pressure, foot into leg, leg into foot. Can you drop your right hip two inches? Pull your bottom ribs in. Press your bent knee towards the back of your mat. Get tall. Bring your hands to heart center. Shoulder blades pull together. Now spread your branches. Lean back. Lift your heart. Lean. Lift. Lift. Lean, lift, three, two, one. Hands to heart center and switch sides. 
Root your right foot into the earth. Left foot presses into center. Ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Press leg into foot, foot into leg. Send your bent knee towards the back of your mat. Pull your belly button in, your bottom ribs in. Tall, press into my finger. Spread your branches. Lift, lift your heart, lean back. Press into my fingers, lift your heart, lean back. Send your head back, your heart towards the sky. Stomp down through your standing foot. Four, three, two, one. Hands back to heart center. Join both feet. Good work. Take a breath in. Let it go. Extended mountain. Root down. Rise up. Breathe in. Forward fold. Exhale it out. Halfway lift. Take a breath in. Vinyasa. High to low. Upward facing dog, pull forward, breathe in. Downward facing dog, hips high. Big breath in, big breath out. Step your right foot forward, warrior one. Step, squeeze in, rise up, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Open up to warrior two, let it go. Flip your front palm, reach up, reverse, breathe. Straighten your front leg, come into triangle, trikonasana, right fingertips come down to a brick on the outside of your calf. I like the brick, the brick gives you space for your side body so you can stack your shoulders. So you can root down to the left pinky toe edge of your foot. So you can soften your knees. Send your right lung under, left lung towards the sky. Stamp down through the left side of your foot. Reaching fingers high, breathe. Take another breath right here. Come up to warrior two. Strong front leg, yeah. Gaze out over your front middle finger. Flip your front palm, reach up, reverse, breathe in. Move through your vinyasa, hands to the mat. High plank. Low plank, upward facing dog, breath in, downward facing dog, empty. Left foot steps forward, warrior one, huge step, huge step, root down, rise up, open up to warrior two. Flip your front palm, reverse, breathe. Prepare for triangle, straighten your front leg, soft knee, reach your left fingers forward, place them on a brick, three different settings. I like the high setting. I'm working to the middle one, but I like the high setting. Stack your shoulders. There. Stack shoulders, fingers reach, left lung under, right lung spins. Press down through your right pinky toe. Full breath here, breath. Again, breathe, let it go. Warrior two, press down through your front heel. Yeah, stack, flip your front palm, reach up, reverse, breathe, breathe, breathe. Vinyasa, high to low. Upward facing dog, pull your heart through. Downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Breathe in, make some noise, let it go. Shift your weight forward into a high plank, chin out of your chest. Low plank, lower halfway down. Press the earth away, high plank. Lower down, low plank. High plank, low plank. High plank. Lift your right foot one inch. Right knee to right tricep, Psh, kick it back. Left foot, lift it one inch. Left knee to left tricep, come back to high plank. Lower down, five, four, three, two, one. Place one ear on the earth. Hands back by your sides, palms facing the mat. Feel your heartbeat. Feel your back body expand each breath in. Mm. 
place your right ankle on top of your left ankle. So cross your legs at the ankle at the back of your mat. Clasp your hands at the small of your back. Yeah, make a fist. Press your pubic bone into the earth. <laughs> Press your pubic bone into the earth. With the strength of your back body, rise up, locust. Press your fist towards the back of your mat. Can you press your legs into one another to rise them higher? Five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Switch the stack of your ankles. Switch the grip of your fist. Take the, the weird fist that's so holding somebody else's hand. Yeah. Press your pubic bone down, rise up, breathe in. Press your fist towards the back of your mat. Squeeze your legs in towards one another. Five, four, Three, two, one, lower down. Yeah, breathe. Take one floor bow, one floor bow. If you want to take floor bow and take it on a trip, this is your one shot for floor bow. Bend your knees, grab your feet, grab your ankles. You like to take it on a trip, get some momentum going, rock over to the right, kick your feet into your hands, get that big shoulder stretch, have some fun with it. Kick and pull and kick and pull, get the other side and kick and pull and kick and pull. Come back to center, release with control. Windshield wipe your legs from side to side. Release your grip, breathe in, breathe out. Place your hands on the mat next to your lower ribs, so palms on the earth. Thumbs are back by your low ribs. Stack elbows over wrists, so bring your hands, Bridget, a little bit further towards the back of your mat. Yes. Yes. Press the tops of your feet into the earth. Bring your hands a little bit wider. Give your shoulders a little more space for this upward facing dog. Try this on with hands a little bit wider. Now press the earth away. Straighten your arms, but keep your elbows soft. So press down. Pull your heart through. Send your breastbone towards the fireplace. Press into your feet so much your thighs lift and your knees lift. Upward facing dog. Now pull through. Five. Shoulder blades pull together. Two. One. Downward facing dog. Let it go. Come down to your knees, set up for one quick camel. Toes tucked or untucked. Squeeze a brick, don't squeeze a brick. Come right into it. Pick your choice. Press your hips forward. Lift your heart towards the sky. Send your gaze towards the back of the room. Lift from here, press into my fingers. Five. Four, expand from the inside out here. Get big and take up space. Two, one, slowly come out of camel. Untuck your toes, sit back on your heels. Breath in, breath out. Bridge pose. Make your way onto your back. Set up the length of your bridge, fingertips touching heels. No bridge, come right into it. No time like the present, no time to lose. Press your hips up towards the sky. Clasp your hands underneath the small of your back. Walk your shoulders underneath you. Press your fists down. Yeah. Five, four, three, so good. One, lower all the way down. One breath in. One breath out, set it up and go again. Bridge or wheel, yogi's choice, rise up. Six, five, four, three, two, one, lower it down. One breath in, one breath out. And again, rise up, bridge, wheel. It's Tuesday, what's it gonna be? Come into it right here, right now, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down. 
take Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles, yeah, soles together. One hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Check in, feel your heartbeat. Feel your shoulders pressing into the earth. The edges of your feet pressing into the earth. Breathe. Take in a full body stretch. Extend your toes out long. Reach your fingers high up above you. Open up your front body. Stretch, reach, point your toes. Flex your feet. Hug your knees into your chest. Give them a big squeeze. Take your brick, it's close by, take your brick, press the brick in between your right elbow and your right knee. Bring your shoulders up off the earth, radiate your right fingers, extend your left leg long, reach your left arm up above you. Press your belly button into your spine, go for the shake, that's why we're here. Six, five, four, three, two, one, left elbow comes in, left knee comes in, switch the brick, press the brick with your elbow and your knee, extend your right leg long, your right arm long, shoulders up off the mat, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch sides, right side presses in, six, five, four, three, two, one left side pulls in, right goes long, six, five, four, three, two, one, both knees pull in, let your head drop, rock from side to side, take a breath here, let it go, squeeze the brick between your knees. Clasp your hands at the nape of your neck. We haven't done this one in a long time. <sighs> Take your right elbow to pinch the brick between your left knee and right elbow. Extend your right leg long. Flex your right foot. Shoulders up off the mat. Bring your right knee back. Pinch the brick. Twist. Extend your left leg long. Bring it back. And switch. And switch and switch, and switch, two more, one, and two, knees in, shoulders down, give yourself a hug, full breath here, breathe in, open your mouth, stick out your tongue, again, breathe in, downward facing dog, <sighs> Pedal out your dog, check it out, see how it feels. Fresh dog at the end of class. Almost end of class. Extend your right leg high, strong, and straight. Bend your knees, stack your hips right here, stack. Press down more through your right shoulder. Half pigeon, right knee to right wrist. You can take reclined half pigeon, yogi's choice. Yogi's choice. Crawl your heart forward when you're ready. Recline half pigeon, flex both feet strong. Press your right elbow into your right thigh. Give yourself a self assist in your reclined half pigeon.
and switch sides. And any movement that feels good in between switching sides, by all means, do it. Set up your half pigeon intentionally, mindfully, deliberately. And let gravity do the work. Let gravity create the space. Bring your fingertips back up onto your mat. Tuck your right toes. Take a three-legged dog with your left leg high. Come to downward facing dog. Come down to your knees. Set up an inversion practice of your choice. Got a couple of minutes here for an inversion. You can take waterfall pose with a brick underneath your tailbone. Traditional headstand. Um, puppy pose could also be an inversion because your hips are higher than your heart. Anything that, yeah, creates the hips above your heart. If you can, you must. in yeah pressing down through elbows go for it big big bold kick fierce yes bottom ribs pull in press your tailbone towards the sky Your fist to squeeze. Press down to your elbows. Press your heels towards the sky. Press, press, get long through your legs. Press your heels towards the sky. Pull your bottom ribs in, down through your elbows. Fierce through your elbows. Fierce through your forearms. Fierce. Keep pressing up through your heels. Yeah, you're stacked. That's what you're feeling. You're stacked. That oh my goodness is when you stack. Mm-hmm. Child's pose. Good work. Good work. Take as many breaths in child's pose as you were upside down. And then when you're ready, make your way onto your back for any last final movements like a supine twist, a happy baby. Lots of last minute options, whatever feels good in your body that you haven't gotten the chance to do, do that now.
and then as you prepare for your final Shavasana, your final pose of this evening's practice, cultivate some gratitude. Cultivate gratitude for your body, for all the things that you were able to do with it this evening, that it did for you, that you asked of it and it was able to perform. Gratitude. Imagine a little spark of light called gratitude in the center of your body, in the center of your chest. And just watch. Watch as that light grows bigger, brighter. That light expands out from the center of your chest. Expanding out from the center of your chest up into your shoulders, down into your thighs. That gratitude expands into your arms, your legs, your hands and feet. And simply watch as the light of your own gratitude envelops your full body. Your full body is enveloped in the light, the glowing, soft, gracious light of your gratitude. Calming and nourishing your body. And thanking it for taking care of you, maybe allowing you to take care of others, and then yourself, and then others, and then yourself. And watch as the light of your gratitude expands past the borders of this room. It continues to grow and expand. ever expanding, ever nourishing. And when you can't imagine that that light could expand any further, bring your attention back to your breath.
make some tiny, tiny movements. Breathe in a giant breath and hold it at the top. Lion's breath out. Again, fill up big. Hold your breath at the top. Lion's breath, make some noise, let it go. One more time for good measure, breathe in. Bend your knees and roll to your favorite side. Cradle your head with your bottom arm, make a pillow. Gratitude for your body, gratitude for your breath, gratitude for your practice. Slowly press yourself up to seated, the top of your mat with hands and heart center, eyes closed. I am grateful that you made the choice to come to your mat and do this practice for you. I am grateful that I could share my practice with you and that you allowed me to share in yours. We'll close with three ohms. to the center of your forehead. Together we bow and say namaste. 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 Give yourself a hand. <coughs> Happy Tuesday. Mm -hmm.